welcome back in this tutorial we are going to learn or install fail to ban fail to ban is a simple script designed to scan log files for repeated failed login attempts and to ban IP addresses that make too many uh, failures commonly that's a brute force attempt to find the correct password combination to log into a server fail to ban will simply update the firewall rules to reject the IP address automatically and to install fail ban we are going to use the apt get command make sure you are logged into the server and type in apt get install fail to ban and press enter Y for yes already installing the package we have successfully installed the fail to ban script now we are going to uh, make some configuration settings to do that first we need to copy the configuration files so we can make changes to do that we are going to use the copy command cp slash etc slash fail to ban slash jail dot conf space slash rc slash fail to ban this is the location we are where we are going to create the new file called jail dot local jail dot local and then press enter now we have copied the file now we are going to use the nano editor to edit the file so we can make the required uh, changes to the configuration file to do that we are going to use the nano command i mean nano nano slash at c slash fail to ban if you can remember we call it jail dot local now we are inside the uh, configuration file from here we can we are going to change some of the basic things let's scroll down and find the default settings here This, these are actually main main uh, things w which we need to change to be able to make it make it work so it can ban the IP addresses this is actually the ignore this is the actually uh, by default it, it has the default local host IP here you can if you have a static IP on your computer you can add your IP here so if you try to access your server and you make mistake so it will ban you from access your server so make sure you add your static IP here if you have one otherwise just leave it as it is and then the ban time is around 600 seconds I think it will be around 10 minutes and the max retry is 3 these are actually much enough and if if you want you can change it uh, to make it even more secure you can change it to 200 or and you can even max retries you can even change it to the one only one chance to re-enter your password so these are actually good enough for a basic server setup let's go down and find the action section um, <laughs> let's find the SSH this is actually a very long file here we go if you have changed your SSH port simply remove the SSH from here 
and enter your SSH port so it can uh, ban all of those brute force attempts on that specific port we have not changed any uh, of our port so we are leaving it uh, leaving as it is SSH uh, by default or uh, SSH uh, port is uh, 22 so you can type in 22 here or you can just simply add SSH which means the default port that's pretty much it and you can also change the uh, max retries from here it is by default 6 you can change it whatever you like and that's these are the most basic things we can do here and that's pretty much enough for a basic server now we are going to save the configuration file by pressing the control O press enter and control X to exit